This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and in today's video, we will be going over how I fight other control bots with SSP. Sorry it's taken so long to get more of these videos out, but I've been dealing with COVID for the last bit over a week now, so it's knocked out a couple of my weekends from being able to make videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you clips from two separate fights. The first fight was against a D2 kit using the wedge attachment, and the second fight was against a custom-built control bot using a bunch of forks, because those are the two predominant types of control bot opponents that you'll likely be fighting, ones with a wedge or ones with forks. Fighting a wedge is very easy. You just run the hinged forks, you get under them all the time. It's easy as that, because it's really easy to get under a wedge using the hinged claw forks, and you can easily push them around because the claws catch the edge of the wedge, and then you can just shove them everywhere. So let's take a look at that fight first off. So the robot that I'm going to be fighting in this match is called Golden Bear. It is a gold-painted D2 wedge kit, and it is driven by the kid you can see behind me, or whose head is now blocked by the white line. <laughs> We've got the white corner and the red corner. So you can see I almost immediately can get under Golden Bear and flip him over. Once you flip over your opponent, if they're invertible, then uh, they will have a hard time driving because their controls will be reversed. So I pretty much had full control over the match from this point onwards. And it was just a matter of shoving them around and using the lifter as much as possible to demonstrate that I have a weapon. And even though they do not in this case, that my weapon is working for the whole fight, basically. Um, general goal is get as many pushes and pins and slams as possible. Really nothing more to say here, and I'll probably fast forward through the rest of this fight until the end where something fun happens. You can see towards the end of this fight I managed to catch their wedge weirdly under a lip of the arena, and ended up getting a knockout win only a minute and a half into the fight. Now, we have Monster Mash in the white corner, which you can't quite see yet. Monster Mash is a green and purple bot with a lot of low forks really low to the ground forks here and you can tell that they were designed to get under everybody now when you're fighting another bot with forks unfortunately the ground game is very important and oftentimes the winner is going to be whoever has longer forks because if you can engage with them first then they can't get under you while you can get under them so here in my case i lucked out because the ssp claw forks which are the hinged forks that i have were longer than the hinged forks that monster mash had meaning that Every time that we locked horns, I had a very slight advantage. I also noticed one other weird thing, which might just be a quirk of the geometry of Monster Mash, but could be a quirk of other control bots as well. Because I have a lifting arm and he does not, I can sometimes push down on the front of his robot, lifting his rear wheels off the ground, making it so that I have more pushing power because I have four wheels in contact with the floor while they only have two. Now, even though SSP is four-wheel drive with the motors mounted in the back, all four wheels get the same amount of drive power, but a lot more of the weight of SSP is on the front wheels. So it's very important to keep the front wheels of SSP on the floor as much as possible, as you can see here. When my four wheels are on the ground, especially the front wheels, I can push Monster Mash around, especially when I can lift Monster Mash's back wheels off of the floor, because I think Monster Mash, in this case, had a bit more of an even 50-50 weight distribution between their wheels. So you can see basically my goal fighting a control bot is to get around to the sides and the back so I don't have to lock horns all the time and just shove them into the walls as much as possible, demonstrate that my weapon is working the whole fight, demonstrate that I am the one who is the aggressor as much as possible and in control as much as possible. This obviously does require quite a bit of practice. Fighting control bots is very difficult oftentimes because it can really come down to just who's a better driver. The added grip that I have with SSP is really helpful here because SSP is running grippy urethane tires while Monster Mash here was just running foam wheels, probably coated with latex or something to get a little bit of extra grip. But as soon as that latex get co gets coated in uh, sawdust from the arena floor, it really loses most of its grip, whereas with the urethane, it kind of wears down very, very slightly throughout the fight, exposing fresh urethane as the fights go on. Very, very slightly though. I mean, these wheels have lasted me for like a dozen fights, so you don't have to swap them out that often, but they do wear a little bit during every match. Like the announcer says here, I'm definitely trying to get around to the sides of Monster Match as much as I can. Locking horns front to front makes it harder for me to demonstrate that I'm really the one in control, and uh, every time you do these little spinny do -si dos it's uh, just a matter of trying to time it 
coming around like this where I get around to the back so I can shove them around. And of course once you can pin somebody to the wall you wait that 10 seconds that you're allowed to pin at pretty much every competition so that you can show that you are in control and it just makes your life a little bit easier because that's 10 seconds less of trying to drive around them. Now my driving in this fight maybe wasn't the best it's ever been in part because this was the first competition where I was using the new speed controller that SSP kits are going to come with from now on which is the, the budget dual 15 amp speed controller. Uh, I say budget only because it costs less, not because it is worse than Terracan. In some respects, it's got a few fewer features than Terracan, and it's a bit heavier, but it's a little bit of a smaller footprint, easier to package into other robots besides an SSP kit, and it, you, as you can see here, doesn't sacrifice drive power whatsoever. So I was able to get a unanimous judge's decision win in this match, and you can definitely use the same setup that I was using in this fight to win plenty of fights with SSP going forward. The SSP kits are currently in stock and ready to purchase. If you'd like to buy one, you can check out the link in the description down below or scan the QR code I'll display on screen now. Before we go, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is currently undergoing a 9th anniversary promotion, so you can get big discounts on their 3D printing service, CNC machining, or their PCB fabrication services like you can see here. They've got great discounts on PCB assembly. You can just upload a PCB design, get it quoted, and same deal for the CNC machining. Let's say, for instance, I'd like to get a quote for a titanium CNC machined lid for an SSP kit. So I'll grab my lid step file, throw it in here, select the material and quantity that I want. So let's say I'd like, I don't know, two of them. And we can just do the as machined surface finish. And we got a quote, two lids for 110 bucks. Then I can just hit submit request and all of a sudden ready to order my parts and then pay for shipping. And you can see that I've got a bit of a discount here since I've been ordering with PCBA for quite a while. But you can also get discounts through their ninth anniversary promotion that is ongoing right now. So check PCBA out at the link in the description. If you want to see an example of their work, for an upcoming material science video I had them machine this U chassis, which normally is a black U and W chassis for SSPs, but in this case, this is machined out of a solid nylon block. So it is a bit translucent and uh, very, very, very nicely machined. So check PCB Way out in the link in the video description and experience the discounts from their 9th anniversary promotion.